What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll teach you how to do a quick stroke animation in Adobe After Effects. So I am here in my After Effects where I've got a solid color background as well as just some regular text. And it's just completely still. But to get this effect started, it's actually relatively simple. The first thing you want to do is select your text, go up into layer and then click create, create shape from text. And basically this will automatically hide our text layer so we can delete that. And then we'll have created a shape layer here where each individual letter is a shape. First thing we want to do to this shape layer is come to add and then click stroke. And at this point, maybe you can see it, but we're going to get like a small stroke around it. I'm going to just change this to five here. So it's maybe easier to see. So you can see we have like a white stroke around our text. So at this point here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into each individual letter and I'm going to hide the fill. So let me just speed that up while I do that for you. So I am done. And at the moment, we just have this thing here. I think I just want to change the color to black, but now it's time to animate it. I'm again going to come up to add here and I'm going to click trim paths. In trim paths here, you can play around with a few things, but today we're going to play around with the, the parameter called end. And as you can see, when I move it, it basically cuts off some of the stroke path. So here at the start of the clip, we want to leave it at zero. Click the keyframe enabler and go forward, maybe something like this and turn it up to 100. Select both of our keyframes, press F9 to ease, ease them. And at this point, the effect is done. That looks super nice. And it is very easy to do. You can play around with some other stuff, such as like offsetting it, maybe, if you want to do that. You can also maybe like animate the offset. And you will get some cool different looks. But anyways, that was all I had for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, then please like this video and comment down below which type of tutorial, video or preset pack you would like to see next. And also, if you're really generous today on this Friday, feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate each and every one of you. But anyways, take care guys.